Maven of Masks. It's been a while since I got that one. Number 44, that reduces to an 8. So, this is about choosing one, too. A mask, rather. Or removing yours altogether. Let's get the first little blurb of this. I love it, what she writes for her cards. It says, who do you want to be? Try that cell phone for size. You might just discover another genuine facet of you beyond your known identity. The maven of mass tells you, act as you wish to be, and so you shall be. Feeling a little bit of a connection with this, with the theme for the Capricorn reading. So if you do have that in your chart or your person that you're dealing with those, give that a look-see as well. This does feel like it overlaps because this, this is a chance to choose to be authentically you when you've been, how do I say this? The authentic version of yourself is different from the person you've been being. If that makes sense. Let's see what goes out with this theme. If I could even talk, that would be great. A new start is coming. New moon. Which we just had recently. Okay. All right. New cycle, new start, new opportunity to try something new. All right. What is the situation in Aquarius? Okay, one more. Okay. Alrighty. Chariot. Eight of Swords. Three of Cups. King of Swords, Sun, King of Cups, Nine of Swords, Ace of Cups on the bottom. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups, King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Judgment. Choosing. Choosing. Oh, this is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. Why do you have your back to the sun then? So normally, <clears throat> excuse me, I would read this side as you, this side as your person, and this is the situation. This is movement. This is traveling. This is could be literally someone driving to come and see you or vice versa. But I'm seeing your back to the sun and here it's like your heart is facing the fear stuck about moving forward all right let's dig in let's start with the situation get to the bottom of this that's why we're here let's expand on the chariot please Two of swords, devil, two of cups, oh, oh, magician, queen of wands, ace of pentacles on the bottom. Really afraid to manifest this love. Someone that you're really attracted to. And given from the bottom of the deck at the beginning, King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Happily Ever After, Ten of Cups, the whole shebang. <sighs> There's something good in store if you could get past this fear and indecision, whoever this is. I'm feeling like it's you because you start with the Eight of Swords here. It's like you're freezing up to make a move and they're worried if you ever will. Let's expand on the Eight of Swords, please. Q. 
King of Pentacles. Two of Wands. Knowing this is your person, knowing this is the partnership that you want. Afraid of it. Stuck in your head about it. King of Swords. Please expand on the King of Swords. Okay. Fool. Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Wands. Wheel of Fortune. Okay. So, mm, managing to make the decision to take this leap of faith, to take this risk, not letting... When you try to get stuck in the what happened before or previously and getting defensive about it and stuck, the Wheel of Fortune pushes you through it. So universe is supporting you here. That's good. Okay, let's expand on the King of Cups. Six of Wands. Four swords. <sighs> Emperor on the bottom. Empress. This 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 is a this is a true match. Whoever this is, this is a true match for you. This Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Wands, King of Pentacles. You see this person as your equal. You want this win. One more for the Four of Swords, please. I need to know if this is a pause or if this is laziness or healing. No judgment either way. Ah. Okay. Seven of Cups, Hierophant. <sighs> Taking the time to decide what it is, the specifics of what it is you desire and need in relationship before coming forward to offer your heart. King of Cups. Four of Wands on the bottom. Temperance. Okay. Let's clarify their side. Let's expand on the Three of Cups, please. Justice. Hangman. World, big energies, woof. They, yeah, they're, they're basically celebrating their win here, and their win is your new perspective, so this cycle can renew. The sun, let's expand on the sun. A spectacle, look at those giant, yep, four cups, eight of wands, nine of pentacles, you bringing in these arrows of love is divine opportunity to renew this connection and ground it in the physical world. It's a very, very happy, happy connection. Your person is doing just fine on their own. They're someone who has been excelling in their life. Oh, way too many. Let's put that one. Hmm. Not a wand. Okay. Well, let's... Expand on the Knight of Swords, the Sleepless Nights and Anxiety. Ten of Cups. Six of Cups. This person knows that this is a soul connection, that, that, that you are there happily ever after. Okay? They know. Star. Yep. They know. They're staring straight at it. Staring straight at destiny for wanting that brand new passionate beginning. And this cycle is renewing. It is renewing. It's just basically you making the choice. Do you want to be that guy? That guy that she needs. Feel free to swap the energies. Okay. But she's been waiting. She's in fear. Is this ever actually going to happen? Am I wasting my time? But I see she gets the victory over here about you realizing what it is you need to be realizing in order for the cycle to renew. So the cycle in this connection is going to renew. Going.